Hey everyone, it's Staying Active RA Warrior. Got an extra special video for you today. I'm gonna show you where I'm at. Salt Cycles, why are we here? Let's go find out. bike at the Ibis HD5. The easiest way to remember on these box things, closest to the valve is firm, so right there we're the closest. Middle, and I pull it away, we're open right there. Like, so that way you don't have to use Oh, it's yeah. for, for the way I'm open. I'm going to raise the drop up for you while you're doing that. Balance, give me some good balancing. Keep going. Give me a good hard sit and keep feeling the pedals. Harder sit. Harder said, yeah. There you go. What do you think? This bike's awesome. You don't seem like, very excited. Come on. I just like even the way it looks. <laughs> what you say? You got it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I want to see the seat at full height there, just because you're always going to go back to that at your like, climbing height. Actually, it looks pretty close. That's actually pretty good. That's got a like a little bit of bending knees, but what I want to see is straight knees and you have this problem, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, rise down, let's do it. Take a little final line, dude. <laughs> Yay! There it is. There's my new bike. This is the 2020 Ibis HD5. So I was going to show you. Uh, around the bike, but also tell you why I got this bike. So to start off, um, this is the full carbon frame. Um, got that because I found that carbon uh, seems to dampen uh, shock, absorbs, absorbs better than alloy for me, for my joints. So we'll start in the back. So this is the GX Eagle build. They have, I think, six different builds. Um, this is kind of middle of the road. They have an NX Eagle, an SLX, GX Eagle, XT, uh, the X01, uh, I think it's the, is it the Axis, and then an XTR. Um, I would have actually been fine getting the NX Eagle build, but I don't like the brakes that come on that build. But one thing that's nice is on all the builds, the suspension is the same on all of them. You can upgrade it, but it all comes with the same exact suspension. So anyway, like I said, it's the GX Eagle build, it's the 1x12 drivetrain. And it's uh, SRAM Descendant. Crank, 32 tooth, uh, front ring there. And you can upgrade, before I start moving up, you can upgrade the suspension on here. Um, I'll get the, to that in just a sec. So these are the basic alloy wheels from Ibis. It's the S35. You can get carbon wheels, but that changes the price a lot. Um, I think if you get the car, it adds like $1,000 to the price of the bike, and I didn't want to do that. So I just stuck with the alloy, which is fine with me. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce these Maxxis tires. Uh, Asagai, I guess. Uh, this bike's a 27.5. Uh, I got 27.5 over 29. Uh, I found that I actually can control, like I feel more comfortable on the smaller wheel size. It makes you feel lower to the ground. And I feel I feel I have more control with the bike than I do with 29. My old bike's a 29. Uh, I can ride 29s fine, but I feel more comfortable on here. These are two and a half inch width tires, front and back. And 
then rear brake. These are uh, Shimano brakes, which is what I like better. I like SRAM drivetrain better than Shimano, but then I like Shimano brakes better than SRAM brakes. Yeah, and that's what the the next Eagle build comes with is uh, SRAM T, I think. I wasn't familiar with those, but I just I haven't liked SRAM SRAM brakes very much. Uh, anyway, these are the four piston brakes. The rear is a hundred and eighty millimeter diameter. Then this is the DW Link rear suspension. Ibis has used this for quite a while, I think since 2005, 2006. Um, and from what I understand, basically what the suspension does is it helps climbing, it keeps it from uh, sagging, I guess, uh, as you pedal during your pedal strokes. And then, this is the shock. This is the Fox Performance DPX2. And I mentioned you can upgrade. You can get, uh, um, I think it's the, it's the Fat Fox Float Factory X2. Um, I thought about trying to upgrade the suspension. There's a little more tuning you can do with those, but I think this will be fine. Then you got uh, the dropper, this is the bike yoke. This is a 160 mil millimeter drop. Uh, drop. And the seat, Wilmer's trail bike uh, seat. Uh, I think it's called a Silverado Pro. And we'll move up front here. So there's the fork. This is the Fox Float 36 Performance Series. And it's 170 millimeter travel. Oh, I forgot to mention the rear. Sorry. Uh, the rear is 155 uh, millimeters of travel, and this is 170. And this is the other thing you can upgrade if you want. You can get the, uh, the Fox Float uh, Factory uh, Grip 2. Same travel, 170. And that mud guard I added myself. I did that as for my old bike. Then the front brake. It's, uh, of course, Shimano, just like the back, but this one is the 200-millimeter uh, diameter front. And it's also a four-piston, of course. Um, same wheels and tires up front. Got the Maxxis Asagai. And then the hubs are uh, just uh, Ibis hubs. They're in-house hubs. And then we'll get up to the cockpit here. So the stem and handlebar are Ibis branded parts. It's an Ibis stem. It's a 31.8 millimeter stem. And then it's a carbon fiber bar. That's a 800 millimeter. And it's all the GX Eagle shifter. There's the bike yoke, dropper lever. And these are ESI grips that I put on. They come with, uh, I think they're called lizard skins. And it's Shimano brake levers. Let's see, uh, what else is on here? Oh, the headset, it's Cane Creek. Use the honking next door. But yeah, I've only gone on one ride so far on this bike. And so far it's great. But the reason I chose this bike um, is if you watch my outer bike videos, I was going there pretty much the sole purpose of finding my next bike. So the reason I got this bike, if you watched my videos, I want to outer bike, uh, looking to see which bike I wanted to get next. I've ridden the HD4 twice, and it started two years ago, 
That was my first demo ride on one. That's when I realized that that's, I was on the, the wrong bike for my condition. And if you're new here, just coming here, that's my old bike. It's a Scott Genius. It's a good bike. I'm not putting down the bike. It's a really good bike. It's just the geometry and every and the suspension was just not good for my condition. I mean, it's it's a really good bike. It just uh, going over certain types of trails is still kind of hurt my joints. Um, but I love the HD4. Uh, at the time, I couldn't afford to get a new bike. Um, so then a year ago, I test rode it again. Um, rode again, realized, you know, this bike still feels really awesome. I really love this bike. But there's so many other bikes out there that I, I figured I should try. I've tried the Scott Ransom. That was my second bike I ever demoed. Um, that was a good bike, not bad. Um, it was a 29er, it just didn't feel right. I tried a YT Capra. Um, still, that bike didn't climb very well. It wasn't a very good climbing bike, but it was fun coming down. It'd be a good bike park type bike, but it wasn't a very good climber. So I went the outer bike, I tried a whole bunch of bikes. So my top three bikes, yeah, my fingers. Uh, top three bikes were uh, this one the Transition Patrol and the Canyon Torque. Um, and the bike shop that I went to to get this bike, they actually sell Transition also. And to be honest, I probably would have gotten the Transition Patrol if, uh, um, well, let me back up for a sec. So the one I test rode, the outer bike, the, trans the Patrol, was their uh, XL1 build. And that had the Fox suspension. And that one's too expensive. I can't afford that one. That one's over $6,000. Um, so they have a GX Eagle build, but that one uses uh, <clears throat> all rock shocks. And one thing I found at uh, Outer Bike is I actually don't really like the feel of rocks, rock shocks suspension very much. I don't hate it, but I can tell the difference between Fox and rock shocks. So if the GX Eagle build, had the same Fox suspension as their X01. I be honest with you, I probably would have gotten um, the Transition. Um, but these these two bikes, this one, the HD5 and the Transition, I mean they're pretty dead even. The thing I really like about Transition is have that coil shock. I really like the feel of it. So I'm kind of I'm gonna I mean this is not anything I'm gonna do soon, but I might look into maybe getting a coil shock. I think it was DHX2. I think it is. Um, I might. I, I don't know. I, even if I do, it's down the road. I just bought this, spent a lot of money on this bike, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and the Canyon Torque wasn't too bad. It was kind of like a distant third. Um, the only reason that one stayed on my radar is because of their price prices they have on their bikes, because you can get really good uh, prices on it, all their builds. Um, but yeah, so I got this bike, so it feels, this bike felt really great on my joints when I was at Outer Bike, the, the 4 and this new 5. These bikes feel great. The only difference between the 4 and the 5 is um, the head tube angle is a little bit slacker on here. I, I can't memorize numbers. I'm horrible at memorizing numbers. It's like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 degree slacker. Um, and the seat tube angle, uh, I believe on here, is steeper by two degrees, I think. Again, I don't memorize things. Uh, it's got a little bit longer reach, which that was the only thing I was worried about at Outer Bike. Um, but I, I can't even tell the difference with it. Um, but if I could tell the seat tube angle really helps a lot. I mean, this bike climbs great. Uh, for a lot of amount of travel it has, this bike climbs awesome. Uh, but I'm looking forward to trying all the different trails around here. So, yeah, I'll have a lot of videos in the future. It's it's winter here right now, so there's a lot of snow, so not right. I've got the ride in at once. We had a week with no snow, so some of the snow started melting. So there's one or two trails that was open. It was just a short, probably like two mile ride, but got to try it. So I was happy. So yeah, stay tuned in the future for uh, some more.
videos where I try on all the trails, which will be really nice because I know the trails are on here really well on my Scott. So I'll really be able to feel the difference between both bikes. So stay tuned for that. And yay for a new bike.